Hey friend, this is Bidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we have a problem from June 2011 from Digital Electronics. It says, consider the digital circuit shown below in which the input C is always high. One is written inside bracket. Then, this is the digital circuit. Z is the output. A is an input. B is an input. C is the input. C is always high. High means 1. In digital electronics, a high signal is represented by digit 1, low signal is represented by digit 0 and these two digits 1 and 0 are called binary digits. They are also called bits. Then it says the truth table for the circuit can be written as, actually it wants to say that if you put 0, 0, the first condition A equal to 0, B equal to 0 in the circuit, that means A equal to 0, B equal to 0 in the circuit under the condition that C equal to 1, well it has already been said that C is 1 in this problem. Then Z you have to write down here. And then you go to the second condition that a equal to 0 b equal to 1 put it in the circuit a equal to 0 b equal to 1 under the condition that is equal to 1 what is the z you have to put in the second box that means you are putting the outputs in these boxes then you have to do for the third for the fourth and these four outputs will make any of the options that means any of the option is right four outputs this is what you have to find now how to do this problem for that first of all we have to find out the boolean expression for this given digital circuit and in that after we get the boolean expression for the circuit then we will put the conditions and one by one we will get the outputs and those outputs we will be filling in those boxes so let us do that for that let us write that see here this circuit is containing three gates one is the AND gate then ZOR gate ZOR gate is also called exclusive OR gate and this is the OR gate see here that the output from the AND gate and output from the ZOR gate are going these two outputs are going to the OR gate okay what is the output of this AND gate output of this AND gate the two inputs for AND gate is A and B so A and B are having AND operation that means A and B are having AND operation that means dot operation what is the output for ZOR gate then first see what are the inputs for the ZOR gate Z ZOR gate inputs are B B and C is the input for ZOR gate then let me write later I will tell why I wrote this this is B bar dot C plus b dot c bar this is the output for the zor gate if you could not understand how i got this then in a moment i will tell you that how i got this this is the output for the zor gate and this is the output for the and gate now the output for and gate and output by the zor gate are going to the or gate that means these are having or operation with each other or operation means plus and this is the output this is the z so this is the boolean expression that we have found now how i got this for that let me tell you the zor gate first of all let us take the symbolic representation of the zor gate this is the symbolic representation of a zor gate suppose x is a x is an input and y is an input for a zor gate and o is the output this is the symbolic representation of a ZOR gate. This is not the original ZOR gate circuit. Well, what is the output? Standard output is x dot y plus x y x dot y bar. x bar dot y plus x dot y bar. This is the standard output. Now suppose since in our problem the ZOR gate has inputs B and C. So if we substitute x by b and y by c then what is the output we will have we will have output similar to the standard output of zor gate then similar to this we will have what for b and c b bar dot c plus b dot c bar and see this is what we have written here exactly this is what so actually we have written 
this as the output for the ZOR gate when the inputs are B and C because when the inputs are X and Y then this is the standard form then for the inputs of B and C this is the form of the output and that is why we have written it now one more thing about the ZOR gate that this is the symbolic represent for ZOR gate and what is the original circuit of ZOR gate for knowledge sake let us write down let us suppose uh, that X and Y are the two signals are going to the ZOR gate that means first of all they will go through two inverters and those two inverters will go to two AND gates a signal from Y will go to upper AND gate a signal from X will go to lower AND gate then those two outputs from those two AND gates will go to OR gate so this is the original ZOR gate circuit and this is the symbolic representation so but they are the same things and uh, what is the output obviously the output O is x bar dot y plus x dot y bar this is the standard output well these things we just saw for knowledge sake but we don't need them for solving our problem then finally we have found the boolean expression for our given circuit now can we simplify this circuit anymore yes we can find because there is a condition in our EA problem that the input C is always high that means 1 so let us write down that since we have C is equals to 1 we could write A dot B plus B bar dot 1 plus B dot 1 bar then A dot plus B plus B bar dot 1 plus B dot 1 bar is 0 now we know that B bar dot 1 anything in AND operation with 1 is it comes to be the same B bar plus B dot 0 is 0 then we have A dot B plus B bar plus 0 is B bar and this is a more simplified form of our boolean expression for this given circuit so we have got Z now we will use the first condition not the condition from the options but the condition given in the question that first of all you have to check for this A equal to you have to find the output for condition A equal to 0 B equal to 0 then find the output for condition A equal to 0 B equal to 1 so for the for first two conditions the first condition is a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 and second condition a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 so let us find out then for this z is equals to a dot b that means 0 dot 0 plus b bar that means 0 bar so it will give us 0 plus 1 that means 1 now from this z is equals to the output will be under this condition a dot b that means 0 dot 1 plus b bar that means 1 bar so it will give us 0 plus 1 bar is 0 that means it is 0 then for the third condition we have third condition and fourth condition third condition we have to find output for 1 0 and the fourth condition a equal to 1 b equal to 1 a equal to 1 b equal to 0 and for fourth condition a equal to 1 b equal to 1 then we have z is equals to a dot b a dot b plus b bar that means 1 dot 0 plus 0 bar that means 1 dot 0 is 0 plus 0 bar is 1 this is 1 and here z is equals to 1 dot 1 plus 1 bar that means 1 plus 0 and this is also 0 sorry this is also 1 that means for the first we have output 1 for the second condition we have output 0 for the third condition we have output 1 and the for the fourth condition we have output 1 so if we write down 
for the first condition we have output 1 for the second 0 that means 1 0 for the third we have 1 for the fourth we have 1 for the third we have 1 for the fourth we have 1 that means 1 0 1 1 answer D matches with this op answer option so what we have done we have found out a boolean expression for this given digital circuit and we have simplified the boolean expression using this uh, option using this uh, condition that c is high that means c is 1 so we have found a simplified boolean expression and use this simplified boolean expression to find out four outputs under different conditions under four conditions and those that final output is 1011 1, 1. that means first condition having 1 second condition output is 0 third condition output is 1 and 1 and so on so for this the answer is d thank you